get them nails out, you bet I'm ready to craft. We are going to be making Schmidt's water moccasins. He lost them and he totally freaked out. So I figured I would create him a pair. Nick told me it would be a bad idea, but who cares? I think he's gonna love them. Winston, come get your cat. I don't remember Ferguson looking like this. So here's the dealio. Schmidt ended up finding his driving moccasins, so I don't need to make a pair for him. So I decided why not make a pair for myself. Um, so these are a pair of shoes that I found at the thrift store for about $5. I think they're super cute, definitely have my style, you know, the stripes or the polka dot look and uh, just a lovely blue color. I love it so much. Next we're going to take some sunshine yellow colors because, you know, yellow goes great with blue. They're complementary colors. Or is that orange? No, I think it's blue and orange. Oh yes, yellow is with purple. Anyway, they still look great together. So we're just gonna make a little uh, yellow splotch on the tip of this shoe. And then we are going to decorate the yellow splotch because I think yellow and blue just really exemplify my personality. So you're going to need to do a whole bunch of layers of the mustard colored yellow to make sure that it doesn't look green and that it looks yellow. Since I'm the new girl in the apartment, I decided that's what I'm going to put on my driving moccasins. Now, I just made a little stencil, which I'll show you how to do later on in this video. And I am just kind of making some finishing touches on here by adding some little cute flowers. So I'm taking a lighter yellow and making little flowers. It's pretty simple. You kind of just do little dots in a circular motion. And I'm also using white. Um, I will also occasionally mix the white with the lighter yellow, um, just because the white stands out a lot better on the mustard yellow. And essentially you want to do this all over your yellow splotch. I think this is looking so cute. Now don't worry about doing it the flowers in any particular order. You don't have to do yellow, white, yellow, or anything like that. Just do it in a random order. Some of the flowers can be a little bigger, some can be smaller, kind of whatever you're feeling like. I did the flowers mostly the same size just because that's the look I was going for.
just take a moment to look at my frizzy hair. My god, girl. Put some hairspray on those frizzes. I realized I totally forgot to mention that I am using acrylic paint. You can use fabric paint. Um, I just had the colors that I was looking for in acrylic. It doesn't really matter what you use the fabric paint, like I said in past videos. Um, will make it easier to like for the paint to be flexible but it doesn't really matter in the end game once you are finished with the flowers you want to set that aside and let it dry um, it also probably would be the best idea to um, have a wait period in between painting the yellow splotch and the flowers. Um, right now I'm just touching up kind of the mustard yellow color because I still feel like it looks a little greeny. I believe I even go back and even add more of that later on. So kind of just layer it as much as you find necessary. So before moving on to the next shoe, I'm actually going to paint the little um, heel, I'm not really sure what to call this, um, but that little stripe in the back, and I'm just going to add a pop of yellow so it matches with the front. Feel free to add any other decorations you might want, I just wanted to keep it nice and simple and just add a pop of yellow. A pop of sunshine! Moving on to shoe number two. Okay, so this one I wanted to look a little different. Uh, I think Smith, Winston, and Coach are just gonna love this. Nick, I don't know, he's always up in the air about things. Um, but essentially what I wanna do is I'm just going to paint this whole side of the shoe yellow. And then I'm gonna add that new girl uh, pop since I'm the newest chick in the apartment or the only girl to be clear. Um, and then I'm going to also add the flowers later on like we did at the top of the opposite shoe. So they are coordinated. And once again, you're going to want to do lots of layering so you don't get a greeny color and you get the mustard yellow that we're going for. I'm being very careful not to get it on the little edge of the top of the shoe. And you also want to be careful not to get it onto that white rim. I did make the mistake of accidentally getting some on there, and it was a very difficult process to try and get it off. And ultimately, I didn't get it all off. Um, if you do accidentally do that, I used some nail polish remover to get that off, which worked okay, but not as well as I would have liked. Flower power time. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, don't feel like you need to do it in any remote order when you're putting these little tiny flowers on. We're using the light yellow and the white again. 
Um, just put them all over. Cover that bad boy. I find it a lot easier to rotate the shoe while working, um, just so I have the easiest access to um, the spot that I need to paint on. Can we just take a moment and admire my nails? I got them done. Don't they look just so cute? So this is the logo thing that I decided to use to put on my shoes. As you can see, I have three different sizes. I printed these out on cardstock, and then I'm using a razor blade to cut them out. I had already cut out two of them. Um, it's pretty much the same process for all the different sizes, so I just wanted to show you how to do the biggest size. Um, essentially, you just cut out the letters. For certain letters, you want to leave a little tab so it doesn't completely fall apart when you are painting it, but it is totally up to you what you want to do with it. I have given my driving moccasins some time to sit and dry, so now I'm going to take my stencils and size them up and use some blue tape to paint them on top of those yellow splotches. Um, I'm taking some tape so it'll stay nice and steady um, while I paint it. Uh, for this one, since it's really small, I had to rip the tape into smaller sections. So then I'm taking some navy blue paint and a paintbrush that I can kind of stipple and just doing that onto my stencil. Now I came to realize after doing this that it did not work very well, especially for the smaller one. I would recommend if you want to use this stencil technique 
to maybe get a dark blue, um, what's the word? Spray paint to do it because as you can see, it kind of just got very splotchy. If you don't want to go the spray paint route, I would say uh, just look at the image and go off the image and just paint it directly onto the shoes instead of using glow glow. Um, but essentially what I did is I just did this process and then I went in and touched it up, which you'll see later on in the video. Um, and then this is the bigger logo that I did. It was the same process as the first one, but this one worked a little bit better. So you might have better luck uh, doing it with the bigger stencil. I would definitely not recommend to do it with that smaller stencil. So I'm just going in and touching up the lettering by following what the logo looks like uh, by applying yellow and just adding the blue back in. You want to make sure that it is dry before you add the yellow color or else it'll just mix and it'll look bad. As you may have noticed, uh, this one is missing quite a few flowers, that's just because I decided to go over everything with the yellow mustard color because I didn't feel like it was dark enough, so I'm just going to cover up all the flowers and then go back and repaint them. Uh, please save yourself a trip and just paint it really dark the first time. Uh, this also had to do with just because the lettering um, was so messed up that it would just be easier to paint it all over. Um, but I think I ended up leaving a few of the flowers and then just going back in and touching them up. And I did a similar thing with the side of the shoe as well, um, making that yellow just a deeper mustard color, um, just so the lettering really pops.
So my W is funky AF, so I'm just gonna cover that up and redo it completely and just follow how the lettering looks on my little new girl logo. process right now is just a whole bunch of touching up, uh, making that mustard colored really deep and solid, and then just adding those flowers back in.
so I just didn't feel like my shoe was complete, and then I remembered how one of my students gave me this lovely bouquet of daisies, and I just felt like daisies really symbolized who I am. So I decided I would paint it onto my shoe. I'm starting off with the side of one of my shoes. So essentially you're gonna take that yellow light color and make a circular shape as so. And once you have that circular shape, you want to take some other yellow colors and do a light stippling inside that middle of the flower to give it kind of that texture look that flowers have. Next we're going to add the petals. Of course they're white. Um, I actually used elements of other colors as well to just give it more depth. Um, so I used a little bit of red and a little bit of blue. You also want to make sure the white is thick enough so it covers up most of that blue. I really liked how the petals had this really wispy feel to them. I didn't want it to be kind of stiff and rigid. I wanted it to be more flowy looking. So make sure that you're not uh, too rigid with your paint. Next I added some stems and leaves. I used green with a little bit of yellow just to give it some highlights. Feel free to put them wherever your heart desires for that shoe. Now I'm adding a little white line just to define the end of this yellow pattern. Now I'm just going to add another little daisy onto the front of the opposite shoe, uh, just because it felt like it was missing something. And essentially it's the same procedure as with the other shoe.
drum roll, please. And this is what the finished product ended up looking like. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Jess Day from The Loft, signing off.